Fifty-five percent of the force retired literally overnight, and the ones still working are now currently quote unquote quiet quitting. They still go into work and stuff. They just avoid confrontation. So they basically let all the bad guys run around free because they don't ever want to find themselves in a Derek Chauvin-like situation. So basically, in other words, cops aren't doing crap these days. They mostly drive around, do paperwork, and let the bad guys run around free. In any situation that requires a gun, they're like, screw that, I'm out of here, suckers. Most women this day and age act the way they do because they know they have the law and law enforcement on their side. Most chicks act like total invincible freaks because they know they can whip out their phone at any given second and call 911 and boom, cops are right there to listen to their every command. So the question is, is easy access to law enforcement and protection the reason why 99.9% of women act like mean little snobby pricks? And the answer is 100% yes. But here's the even bigger question. What will happen in about 10 years when that law enforcement they depend on most so much goes away? That cop squad that's no longer around because BS lawsuits drove them out of town. What will women do? Who will they turn to? How will they act when it's 1850s Wild West all over again? Just give it about 10 years or so, and there won't be any cops around whatsoever. And when this happens, women will be running scared again. No more of the strong and independent BS. These beachy little attitudes will go right out the window. And these chicks who choose to be single will be begging for a man to have protection. In 10 years, these tender one-night stand chicks will be history. Women will need men once again to survive. And they won't be used for some cheap one-night stand dick. Because when all the cops are gone, there's going to be no rules like the Old West. Women will be run and scared, and all that independent and strong BS they believe will go right out the window. They will be terrified once again. When law enforcement isn't present, women will be obedient to their men. And that's the way it should be, because they will need their men for their survival. Our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so in the video, you can hear the guys was saying how these women who depend on the law enforcement uh, to defend them uh, is, is going to, uh, that well, law enforcement is not going to be there. And these women are going to be in trouble in that day because they're going to need uh, men to uh, help them survive. Okay, and these same women who um, who done men bad, <coughs> You know, it's gonna be in trouble. You know, because a lot of these men, especially men of the Lord, uh, it's not gonna, uh, you know, it's not gonna be dealing with that with these women like that. A lot of these women with they who walk with their nose high, who look down on brothers. You know, these same women is gonna be looking for these brothers to 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 to, uh, to defend them. You see that? So. These women are in trouble. We're going to read the scriptures right here. It says, this is Isaiah 32 and 11. It says, Tremble ye women who are who are at ease. Be troubled, your, your complacent ones. Let's get back to it. It says, uh, Be troubled, your complacent ones. Strip yourselves. Okay? Make yourself bare and gird sackcloth on your waist. See that? Because these women walk around here knowing that they have the law enforcement on their side. And and, and they know all they have to do is uh, make a phone call. And a lot of times these uh, these women had these brothers uh, put in jail only because brothers want to uh, run their household a certain way. And these, a lot of times these women don't want to be uh, under order, you know. So in the, what they do is they call the police on brothers when they can't get their way. So them days is coming is going to be long gone, and these women are going to be in trouble, looking for brothers to save them. You see, and these same brothers who you did wrong is not going to be there for y'all in, in that day. So the most I got some harsh judgment for these women out here.
to that. So uh, I want to share that right there. It says, people shall mourn upon their breasts for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. On the land of my people will I come up thorns and briars. See that? Yes, on all the happy homes in the Joyce city. See that? So, <clears throat> so like the, so like he was saying, you know, it's not gonna be no cops in these cities, you know. And who are these women gonna, um, you know, look to save them or help them? And there ain't gonna be no cops around, so you're gonna have to depend your 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 husband or your your is your lord is your is your head. You're supposed to listen and obey your husband. It says, um, because of the palaces will be forsaken, the bursting city will be deserted. The forts and towers will become liars forever. A joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks. See that? So, uh, these cities is going to be, uh, Deserted, you know they're not gonna have no no cops around in these in these cities, and this is the times that we're facing and coming uh, coming to. So, you know, like I say, these uh, women need to get themselves in order, and uh, under the under the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. See, so I want to share that with you guys today. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.